I wanted to take just a couple minutes to show you how we can take an existing picture and trace that in SOLIDWORKS to create a 3D part. Now, in order to do this, we're going to utilize a couple tools here. You're going to see me use the sketch picture tool, the scale tool, splines, and then we're going to use some mirroring for symmetry. My son's a big fan of birds and gliders. He would like me to sort of build him a foam glider with a bird-shaped wing on it. So that's what we're going to do. Now, what I did is I had an old textbook that showed some different uh, wing profiles of birds. And so that's what we're going to use here. So as we get into SOLIDWORKS, um, a couple things I'd like to do. You can see I've already got a part started here. Um, I generally like to start with kind of two sketches. And, and the first sketch is usually just going to house the picture that I want to trace. So I'll go ahead and start that sketch. And here's where I'll utilize the, uh, the sketch picture command. Uh, to go ahead and bring that image in. Now, you can see we've got a, a bird wing image here. This is a, a picture I took out of a textbook, sort of cropped it so it fit. You can see it's kind of grainy, uh, but it's going to serve purposes pretty well. Now, initially, it just sort of puts that in there. And what we want to do is utilize the tools within Sketch Picture to, to place that image and get it to the appropriate size. Now, a couple things you'll notice, you'll see that we've got our aspect ratio locked, right? So if I change in the X, it's going to change in the Y, right? I don't want to, I don't want to distort that. And I've also have my scale tool enabled. That's that little blue bar that you see there. You can see I can kind of toggle it on and off. That's going to be really critical here. Uh, what I want to do is I want to use this scale tool to set the overall length of this wing. Now, I can make this anything I want it to be realistically, right, as far as the size of the glider that I'm going to make for my son. But what I want to do is I want to utilize these two endpoints and kind of drag this out um, to get an approximate sort of wingspan here, right? And as I finish this last drag, you'll notice that it gives me the option to sort of modify that length. Now, in this case, I've set this up in millimeters. Um, realistically, I think in U.S. terms or in, in um, I think in English units. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up to be... Um, 15 inches as far as half of my wingspan, right? So that's going to give me 30 inches total, roughly, right, is what I'm going for here. Now, that sets the size. What I need to do now is move this to the appropriate location. So what I want to do is I want to set that up to be somewhere on center right there, roughly, with the origin. Uh, actually, I may want to offset that just a little bit, give it a little room. So I've got that set in place. What I'm going to do now is just go ahead and confirm that. That gives me the picture uh, where I want it and the approximate size. So now that I've got that in my sketch, I'm going to go ahead and uh, exit that sketch uh, and leave that there in the background. The reason, again, I like doing that is now I can come in and kind of hide that image out of view uh, anytime I want to just by hiding that sketch. I'm going to leave it for now because I want to trace over it. So I'm going to go ahead and start a sketch again on that same top plane. And I'm going to start off with just a center line because I know, again, I want to ingrain some symmetry here. And I set that up for a reason. So we'll just drag that out and place that initially. Now, what I'm going to do is use the spline command to sort of trace out uh, this wing profile. And I want to use the spline command because it, it gives me the ability to create sort of some of these ergonomic shapes here. Uh, and... The thing that's cool about the spline command is, is it lets us sort of, like, as you can notice, right, I can kind of hit just kind of peaks and valleys. And when we're sketching with the spline tool, kind of less is more. There's a balance that we want to try and hit. Um, we want to try and hit the, the peaks and the valleys, as I mentioned, right? So I'm going to come around somewhere there-ish. Um, come here, you can see I'm just going to try and trace this outside profile and sort of smooth that out. Now, that doesn't look like it matches very well, uh, but if we come in and select some of these endpoints, you can notice that I do have the capability to sort of move uh, and manipulate uh, my spline. Actually, every one of those spline points that I selected gives me the ability to start manipulating the geometry around it, right? And I have the ability to even move those, those points around as well. So it starts to begin to be a process of sort of working um, the spline, right? kind of along that sketch, so to speak, or along that picture. Again, you may have to move points here and there to, to sort of fine tune it. But as you select a point, we're given drag handles that we can then use to manipulate 
our surfaces. So the idea here, right, is that I just want to match that kind of as close as possible. There's going to be some bit of error because, um, again, we're tracing. That looks pretty good. That gives me an outside profile. If I wanted to come in here and create some of these cutouts for feathers, uh, I could do that as well uh, with another spline. Uh, we can come in here and start to kind of fine tune that. Make that back. And then if I wanted to, right, by manipulating these splines, right, I can, I can come in here and sort of make that little cutout and trim away the piece that I that I don't necessarily want. So pretty quickly, right? I've been able to um, somewhat trace that that ergonomic profile. Now, what I want to do is, of course, I need that symmetry ingrained. So I'm just going to mirror that to the other side. You'll notice SolidWorks then recognizes that that's a complete closed profile. Um, so I'll go ahead and exit that sketch. You can see it's now provided to me there. I'm going to go ahead and hide my... Uh, my original picture. And there you can see my resulting sketch. And now if I come in and extrude that, I can extrude that at whatever thickness ultimately I want that to be. In this case, three millimeters as far as the thickness of the foam. I want this to be fairly light. So, um, so there you have it, right? Uh, pretty quickly I was able to come in and uh, sketch a picture or bring one in, trace around it rather. And uh, if I wanted to, right, I can bring that back so that now we can see that falcon wing. Right. So thank you very much. Um, appreciate your time. Have a great day.